Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on how to install Blender add-ons. Blender add-ons are pieces of software that extend Blender's functionality and make your workflow easier and faster. There are two sources for add-ons, the built-in add-ons that come with Blender and the external add-ons that you can download from various websites. The external add-ons can be free or paid depending on the author. To access the built-in add-ons, go to Edit, Preferences, and click on Add-ons. You can choose between official and community add-ons. To choose both, click one of them and then shift-click the other. Here you'll see a list of categories. Each category contains a number of add-ons that you can enable by checking the box next to them. You can also use the search bar at the top to find a specific add-on by name or keyword. For example, I'll select all categories and then type Bolt. Here's the Bolt Factory add-on. To access the external add-ons, you need to download them from online sources. There are many websites that offer Blender add-ons, such as Blender Market, Artistic Render, Blender Hub, etc. You can also find some add-ons on other platforms. When you download an add-on, make sure it's compatible with your version of Blender and that it comes in a zip file. Don't unzip the file, you'll need it for installation. So for example, I'm going to download the Blender Kit add-on. Blender Kit is a free online library of assets that include models, materials, scenes, HDRs, and brushes. I was so impressed by the materials feature of this add-on that I dedicated an entire video to it. I put a link to it in the video description in case you're interested in watching it. To install an external add-on, go back to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, and click on the Install button. Navigate to the folder where you downloaded the zip file and select it. Then click Install Add-on. The add-on will appear in the list of add-ons and you can enable it by checking the box next to it. Some add-ons may require additional steps for installation or activation, such as entering a license key, setting up preferences, etc. You can usually find these instructions on the website where you downloaded the add-on or in a readme file inside the zip file. You can also click on the arrow next to the add-on name to expand its detail and see more information about it. If you want to refresh the list of add-ons, you can do that with this button. If you click this checkbox, then you can view only the add-ons that are already enabled. To save your settings for the next time that you open Blender, you can click the Save Preferences button. If you have Auto Save Preferences selected, then you can skip this step. That's it for this tutorial on how to install Blender add-ons. I hope that you learned something new and useful. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe and leave a comment.